On the night of May 1, 2024, around midnight, if you gaze towards the eastern sky, you can, you can observe the Scutum constellation just above the horizon without the aid of a telescope. What makes this constellation intriguing? Welcome to Spaceverse, your cosmic journey into the mysteries of the universe. In our latest video, we unravel the enigma of a captivating celestial signal discovered by astronomers. Join us as we dive into the intricate world of pulsars, magnetars, and the fascinating category of white dwarf pulsars. Like, subscribe, and let's embark on this cosmic voyage together. In September of the previous year, an Australian research team engaged in detecting radio signals in the night sky to identify common objects emitting radio waves like neutron stars, pulsars, or their magnetically potent counterparts stumbled upon an enigmatic radio signal originating from the Scutum constellation. This signal did not correspond to any known celestial object. Strangely, it pulsated consistently for five minutes, vanished abruptly, and reappeared precisely after 22 minutes. Upon further investigation into this mysterious incident, it was revealed that the signal had been reaching us continuously for the past 35 years, yet its exact source remained elusive. Each attempt to trace it led to a solitary message on the computer screen. Match not found. This raises the question, could this signal be an attempt by an extraterrestrial civilization to communicate its location? The regularity of the signal, repeating every 22 minutes for three and a half decades, suggests an unnatural source, as conventional celestial objects like pulsars or magnetars lose energy over time and cease emitting radio signals. Alternatively, it's plausible that there are entities in the universe that scientists haven't comprehensively understood, emitting these mysterious radio waves. To unravel this cosmic enigma, we must delve into the origins of its discovery. Remarkably, this peculiar radio signal was first identified by an undergraduate student as part of an ordinary college project, rather than a deliberate scientific endeavor. The narrative commences with Tyrone O'Doherty, an undergraduate student at Curtin University in Australia who, in 2020, was working on a project to identify unfamiliar blinking radio signals from archived data of the southern sky. Within this project, he stumbled upon a radio signal from 2018 that resembled a lighthouse beam directed towards Earth. Upon sharing his findings with his mentor, radio astronomer Natasha Hurley Walker, the exploration into this signal began in earnest. Initially, upon locating the signal in various frequency data, no clues were uncovered. However, a breakthrough occurred when a hidden pattern emerged in the radio data. The signal repeated every 18 minutes. Recognizing the potential significance of this discovery for her career, Natasha Hurley Walker felt a surge of excitement. Unfortunately, before she could delve into a detailed study of the object, the signal abruptly vanished within a mere three months. The unexpected disappearance left Natasha and her team perplexed, prompting them to ponder the nature of this elusive object. In their quest for answers, the team conducted an exhaustive scan of the entire southern hemisphere, hoping to uncover a clue. Despite months of research, they remained empty-handed and were on the verge of discontinuing their study. However, a renewed sense of purpose arose when they stumbled upon a signal reappearing every 22 minutes, thanks to the contribution of Indian observatories. Following the mysterious vanishing act of the 18-minute signal, Natasha and her team employed the Mitchison Wind Field Array Radio Telescope in Australia to survey the entire southern sky. There, they discovered another signal akin to the one observed in the Scutum constellation near Sagittarius, recurring every 22 minutes. This new signal was designated as J183910. The pivotal question emerged. Was it linked to the vanished 18-minute signal? To unravel this mystery, Natasha revisited the past radio data of the entire region. Remarkably, it was revealed that the signal, now known as J183910, had already been detected by Indian and American radio telescopes back in 1988. However, the data was buried in a pile of information. During the current study, upon revisiting this archival data, they made a staggering discovery. The signal had been consistently repeating every 22 minutes for the past 35 years, accompanied by a robust radio burst lasting five minutes upon each recurrence. Interestingly, this development brought positive news for astronomers and astronauts alike. The signals now provided a means for astronomers to determine the distance of the unknown source object from Earth. Upon completing the calculations, 
it was revealed that this source was situated 15,000 light years away. With this crucial information in hand, the remaining question loomed, what precisely was this object located 15,000 light years distant from us? In their pursuit of answers, Walker and her team initiated a search by comparing the mysterious signal to all known objects emitting radio signals. Surprisingly, they discovered similarities between the old data and the signal J183910. Numerous radio signals in the data exhibited a blinking pattern identical to that of J183910, repeating at regular intervals. Further investigation into the sources of these similar signals unveiled a commonality. They all emanated from a specific category of celestial objects known as neutron stars, particularly pulsars. The intrigue deepens with an explanation of the fascinating nature of pulsars. When massive stars, exceeding 10 to 25 times the size of the Sun, undergo explosive events, they transform into super-dense neutron stars rather than becoming white dwarfs. Some of these neutron stars possess such high mass that gravitational forces cause their matter to collapse inwards, resulting in a compressed size. To conserve angular momentum, these stars rapidly rotate, akin to a ballet dancer increasing her speed when pulling in her arms. Astronomers term these swiftly spinning neutron stars as pulsars, which are even denser than standard neutron stars. The dense environment of pulsars leads to the decay of neutrons into electrons and positrons on their surface resulting in rapid rotation. Here, a fundamental principle comes into play. A moving electric field generates a magnetic field. Charged particles like electrons and pulsars, encountering this magnetic field, accelerate in its direction, expelling their energy from the star in the form of radio waves. This intricate process sheds light on the origins of the mysterious radio signals detected from the distant pulsar J183910. Indeed, the magnetic axis and rotational axis of pulsars do not always align perfectly, mirroring the Earth's situation where the magnetic axis is tilted at an angle of 11.3 degrees from the rotation axis. Consequently, as pulsars rotate on their axis, the tips of their magnetic axis periodically point towards Earth, causing the emission of radiation. Essentially, pulsars exhibit a form of periodic blinking, resembling the pattern observed in the mysterious signal. However, the revelation that pulsars could be the source of the radio signal did not bring closure to the mystery. Astronomers came to realize that they had been on the wrong track from the beginning. Traditional studies of pulsars involve calculating the emitted signals or pulsating period to predict their lifespan. To determine if their recently discovered radio signal was genuinely attributed to pulsars, scientists charted pulsars based on their rotation period. Typically, normal pulsars have pulsation periods ranging from 0.25 to 2 seconds, placing them within a specific region on the graph. As pulsars continuously rotate, they gradually lose energy. With diminishing energy, their rotation speed decreases, causing an increase in the pulsation period. Pulsars in this transitional phase move towards what astronomers term the Death Valley. In this region, the slowing rotation rate indicates that the pulsars are approaching the end of their life cycle. Once pulsars cross the death line, their rotation slows to the point where they can no longer emit radio waves, marking the conclusion of their radio emitting phase. When astronomers plotted the received signal on the graph, they encountered a perplexing scenario. The signal was emitting radio waves beyond the expected death valley for pulsars, raising the certainty that it couldn't be a pulsar. This led scientists to consider a specific category within pulsars known as magnetars, stars with magnetic fields 1,000 times stronger than regular pulsars and slightly longer pulsation periods. However, when plotted on the graph, magnetars did not align with the signal. Magnetars, due to their high energy levels, emit X-rays along with radio waves, unlike the signal in question, which exclusively emitted radio waves. Consequently, astronomers had to rule out the possibility of it being a magnetar. In summary, the signal did not match the characteristics of either pulsars or magnetars, leaving astronomers with an unresolved mystery. Further research revealed another category of stars known as white dwarf pulsars, a potential match for the peculiar signal. White dwarf pulsars are white dwarfs that pulsate akin to pulsars. Ordinarily, white dwarfs form from the explosion of a star with less mass than the Sun, and their magnetic fields are not as strong as pulsars, leading them to not pulsate. However, when white dwarfs reach 0.8 times the mass of the Sun, 
they become dense enough to generate a powerful magnetic field, similar to pulsars. The key difference lies in their composition. While pulsars are made up of neutrons and electrons that decay, white dwarfs are originally composed of electrons. As these charged electrons encounter a magnetic field, they emit periodic light flashes similar to pulsars. The pulsating period of white dwarf pulsars, opposite to pulsars, ranges from 100 to 1000 seconds. This revelation adds a new dimension to the investigation, suggesting that the mysterious signal could potentially be associated with white dwarf pulsars. Certainly, the pulsating period of the recently discovered signal, when converted to seconds, aligns closely with the characteristics of white dwarf pulsars, standing at 1320 seconds. This proximity makes white dwarf pulsars the most plausible explanation for the mysterious radio signal. This revelation underscores the vastness of our universe and the many phenomena that remain incompletely understood, including events like supernova explosions. Supernova explosions, typically categorized as type 1 or type 2 based on the mass of the star involved, have added a new enigma with the discovery of the scary Barbie explosion. This supernova emits a staggering 100 times more energy than any supernova observed in the last three years. Defying conventional classifications, as we reach the end of our cosmic journey on Spaceverse. Thank you for exploring the mysteries of the universe with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars.